What's up everyone? This is part two of the self-driving car video and in this video I'm going to give you an update on where it's at and show you a demo of it in action. So, so far I've uh, worked through and generated the training data, got a working model, trained it, and tested it out. So I'm going to give you an update on all that. So first off, here are, here are the training results on TensorBoard. So I trained for about, or I saved data for about a half hour of gameplay. Came out to like, um, close. To, yeah, it was one hundred thousand um, frames, and I I don't know. It was maybe a half hour or so. So I used that to train a model. I used the basically the same AlexNet model from Sentex's video. So um, yeah, if you want to get caught up on how to generate training data, how to get the model, how to train the model, how to use it, I'd refer you to his video. So it's this series here, the Python Plays GTA 5. So I'll briefly go into how I set it up and highlight the differences I made. So from the, I don't know, 100,000 samples, I generated, I also did the balancing that he shows in, I think it's video 10. So I also balanced it. It was about, I think, seven or 8,000 um, samples or seven or 8,000 frames per key option that I have. And I have seven key options. So, yeah. So these are the results. The I did eight epochs, just like the the training um, training.py video that or training.py file that he had. So after eight epochs, got up to eight or point eight six percent accuracy or point eight six for accuracy. Um, the loss was got down to like point point three nine momentum, not exactly sure what that is, but yeah, there's the momentum. So yeah, with more training and more training data, probably could get the accuracy up a little higher. So yeah, let me, so for training the data, you can, let's see, yeah, basically you can just come here to the GitHub. There's a link in the videos, just in the description. So for training data, you can just come grab this, create training data and basically basically copy this. Um, if you saw my last video, you can see that I have my key press is a little different. But um, yeah, what you're looking for is, you know, just gener creating a file name, checking if it exists, and then you'll, if not, then you create a new, create a new file or create a new uh, directory or yeah. Yeah, anyways, you're creating a file and if it already exists, you just keep appending to it. And then you're taking screens, screenshots, and you're saving um, a screenshot along with your key presses. So it's a list, and um, so there's the frame and then the key presses right next to it. And then you keep appending frames with key presses in it, and that's your training data. So you do that, you play your game for however long you want. You get, I don't know, you want to get a lot of, a lot of training data. So then you'll train your network. So what I basically, I'll show you my code. I basically use the same file for training the data. So yeah, you can see here, we're using this AlexNet. And yeah, why don't I show the AlexNet? So I basically copied AlexNet from the GitHub. The only difference is because I have seven outputs or seven key presses, the last layer, the fully connected layer, needs um, this needs to be a seven. So when you make yours, you, that number needs to match the number of key presses or options or outputs that you have. Other than that, it's it's yeah, it's the exact same thing except for that change. So the training is probably all the same except for the model name, which is kind of trivial. So yeah, you can. This is all on the GitHub. So use that. And then I in my in my main drive DNN file. 
I had to make some modifications. So if you saw the last video, I had a uh, press keys using threads. So this was just press one key at a time and then release the rest of them. So what I found is that most of the time when I'm driving, I'm pressing the gas and the turning at the same time. So a lot of time I'm pressing two keys. So I have a press two keys function. And then also there's times where I press no keys. So there's a no keys function where it just releases everything. So then I have a, a straight right, left, break, straight right, which is two keys, straight left, which is two keys, and then coast, which is no keys. And right now it's kind of sloppy. I know that there's probably a better way to to do this. And you know, like, I could probably just have one function instead of seven functions and then use args and quargs to make it look cleaner. So that's probably next step to clean this up. And then there's my my drive function. So in the main loop, I use the, um, I get the prediction from the model. So I load the model, get the prediction based on the screen that we save. And then I also, I apply a, a weight to the braking prediction because for some reason the driver, the AI always wants to brake and sometimes he'll just brake, come to a stop and then you know he's he's stopped. He's not going to go anywhere. So I so I applied the, I applied this uh, weight to lower the prediction on the braking one. I mean it's slight. It's only 0.9, so I'm not sure. I probably need to lower it more or do something else to prevent him from braking all the time. You'll see it in the demo, but yeah. So then what I do is I take the I find the index of the largest um, item in the prediction. And whichever one that is, that's going to be the command. So I pass that index to drive. And then, yeah, so if the index is 0, that's straight. If it's 1, that's straight left. If it's uh, 2, it's straight right, and et cetera. So yeah, that's my control algorithm. Pretty basic, but you'll see it, it kind of works. So some other changes, I switched my car. So get rid of this. I switched from the Fiat to the M3 just because the Fiat was so slow and like it was never braking. It was basically just always on the gas. And I don't know, I wanted something a little more interesting to drive with. So I switched to the M3, trained it on this course. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's start it up. So also I'm, I've also switched to the, um, got a new card, so now I've got the GTX 1070, which is a lot better than the 950 I had before. So um, the training, it I don't know, if those eight epochs took about an hour and a half, and I'm not sure if that's good or not, but I don't know, it seems, it seems good. So I'm going to start the program first because I have to start it. Like, if I start it while I'm playing the game, it won't start. So right now it's uh, it's running. So I'll, oops, I'll pause it. So yeah, now it's not running. And then I can start the game. Switch back to this. And show the screen. So yeah, it takes a little time to load. I've even noticed that normally my card, you know, I have the frame frame rate set to what is it 140 max but I've noticed that even while I'm running this model the frame rate dips a little below that so it's kind of interesting so let's start get rid of all this stuff another thing too is I have to if I start him right from the pit he'll just drive straight into that wall but I need to get him out of there because I never trained him to get out of the pit and he has trouble getting out of the pit and this turn here he I don't know why always has problems with this turn so I'm just gonna go a little bit further and give him some gas and then go so now he's driving so you can see well yeah he likes he likes going into the dirt but he's making some turns oh he lost control 
yeah, that, that. Yeah, this game's got, you know, if you, with this car, you can gun it and, you know, skid out and lose control. So, let's see here. He slows down. He takes the turn. A little rough, but he makes it. Keep going, keep going. So yeah, he makes it on the straightaway, he goes, he hits the gas, come on, lose uh, control, uh oh, oh, he recovered, yeah, so this part normally I'd be like just going straight, no break, maybe no king a little bit, but yeah, he's kind of struggling through this, oh, where are you going? So here's a part where he he might have trouble. Sometimes he just like slows down and he stops. But no, he's got it. He's good. Here he might stop. Yeah, so here's a part where it's a sharp turn and while I was training here I, you know, hit the brake for a few seconds and he learned to just stop and because this isn't like a it isn't a recurrent neural network, so he just looks at the frame. He's just going control frame by frame. So he's even though he stopped, he's not through the turn, and he's he sees the frame. He thinks I need to stop. He, he doesn't know that he's supposed to keep going, so he's not that smart. So maybe we need to add like LSTM to I don't know make him realize that he's supposed to go. So turn him back on. Here's a here's a decent turn. Let's see if he can handle it. And yeah, he got it a little close, but here too. This is a tricky turn. Let's see if he can manage. Wow, he totally did nothing there. Luckily, he's got bumpers to I don't know, kind of steer him in the right place. So here he's come on. Give him a little push. And go. Oh, he's turning, but yeah, he's just going going too fast into it. But he recovers. Yeah, I thought. Other times I ran this, he sometimes he does good. This is a little poor, poorer than usual, but I mean you can see he's He's driving, he's steering somewhat correctly. I mean, it's not like he's just driving straight into a wall and, you know, gassing it into it. So here's interesting, you know, this is like one of the sharp turns where you have to slow down and really be careful and, well, I mean, the fact that here I normally, okay, I'm gonna have to get him out of this. I didn't teach him reverse because you have to like shift into reverse. There's not a reverse button, so it's, I don't know, I figured it'd be tricky to teach him that or to try and program that. So, yeah, here it's just these sharp, these spots where I had to break a lot. He wants to break and is, yeah, it's screwing it up. So maybe the LSTM model will, I don't know, maybe improve him a little bit. Keep going, keep going. Ah, yeah. Give him a little push and go. Man. Let's just finish this level out. So here's a nice straightaway where he should be just going balls out, just gas the whole time. He loves going into the grass. I was a good driver, I never drove like this. But, alright, here he's got to really get on the brakes. Oh, and he's, he's screwed. Yeah. But, hey, he kind of recovers. So, not too bad. But, anyways, um, call it quits there. Oh, yeah, let's stop. So, yeah, that's the AI. Um, probably next step is to generate more training data and maybe find a way to just have him run and, and 
generate his own training data and somehow weight the data that he's um, that he's generating to like give it a fitness so that way he can automatically select which data is good and which data is bad and then um, kind of self train himself. I really don't know if, how I'm going to do that so it's going to take some research and some trial and error and stuff but um, yeah that's the plan is to just somehow make him better so he's not so he can finish a level without stopping so yeah that's the video that's it if you got any questions any suggestions how to make it better you know leave a comment if you like the video leave a like and if you want more videos hit the subscribe button so i uh, will see you guys later bye